I look like a wax figure next to you because you're so natural and I'm so fake. <laughs> Have you ever seen something more precious, guys? I just walked in the room and she literally tucked herself in. I'm gonna cry, she looks so cute. Turn off the light. Welcome back to Vlogmas. This is being filmed the same day as yesterday's vlog. So that's why I still got my extensions and stuff. And they're looking really crazy because I have some of my hair pinned back. Because I just have so much hair on my head right now that I don't even know what to do with it. But right now it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Mom and Baba just went. My car is finally fixed. We got the call that my tires are all good. So they drove to the Persian like supermarket so they can grocery shop for themselves. Maybelline and Benefit are having some holiday parties tonight. So I needed like two hours to get ready. So I didn't want them to just like, you know, sit here. So they're like, you know what? We're going to go grocery shop. By the time they come back, I'll be like ready. So yeah, I'm just about to do my hair and makeup for those events tonight. Yasmin's coming as well. And I'm just drinking this really yummy protein shake. Guys, it's so good. As you guys know I love that one vanilla um, iced coffee protein. I have it in this flavor as well. This one is, this is just the mocha flavor. So I just mix this with one, um, half a banana and some almond milk. Um, just as a little like meal replacement. This is definitely not enough calories for a meal replacement. And the caffeine is definitely something I need because I've been getting sleepy. Like y'all saw how Nala was like all cuddled up. I was like, I wish I could just like cuddle up next to you and sleep too because I'm really sleepy. I'm probably just gonna wear my hair, you know, straight and down and unpin it. I just need it out of my face. And then I'm going to do my makeup. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna wear, but we're gonna figure it out. So let's head to my beauty room and start getting ready. We are in my beauty room. I just propped up this camera, turned on a ring light. But yeah, I'm currently just like doing my makeup. Um, I should have shaved my face because I'm looking in the mirror right now and I'm like covered in peach fuzz, but it's a little too late for that. But this is a time where I catch up on watching YouTube videos and all of my favorite YouTubers. Right now I'm watching Aaliyah's face. I'm watching her vlogmas day four. So yeah, I love her videos. She's so funny. But she's talking about the beginning how people are giving her a hard time about because she has a boyfriend as well and her channel isn't a couple channel just like mine like I we both don't have couples channels but we show our boyfriends and people be like all up in your business like trying to get some info and she's like upset about that and I'm like bro I feel it I really do like especially people are so weird like they feel so entitled to know about your personal business like that like there were so many comments under my um under my apartment tour like what does Mel do to, to support you how does Mel afford to pay these bills like all these really really personal questions about our financial situation i always see this one comment as a comeback whenever i see youtubers or celebrities or does anybody with a following defend themselves from all this cruel hate that we get for no reason like whenever i see someone defend themselves like guys mind your business i always see that one corny person commenting back like you put yourself out there so you deserve all this hate you're getting to. You're the one who chose this lifestyle and put your life out there for people to judge. Here's what I have to say about that. In a way, you guys are right about that. Like we did put ourselves out there, but a lot of us didn't expect to get that type of audience. Like I did not expect at 14 years old that I was gonna get this audience. I did not. So in a way, I didn't really ask for this, but that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to go up to a random person on, a, on the street and ask them that question, don't feel comfortable enough to comment that on somebody's video. If you see a couple walking down the street and you feel comfortable enough to go up to that random couple and ask, how do you guys split the bills? How does he take care of you? Um, do you? Do you take care of him back? Like, if you don't feel comfortable enough to ask that to some random couple that you see out, don't feel comfortable enough to ask a YouTube couple that question. And just anything in general. If you wouldn't feel comfortable enough going up to a random person on the street and being like, are your boobs real? Don't feel comfortable enough to comment that under somebody's video or somebody's picture. People just have that security blanket of being anonymous on YouTube. YouTube specifically, because it's not like Instagram, like KB said this in his video, it's not like Instagram where someone can like click on your profile and like get to know more about you, see who you're following, find out who your friends are. YouTube is a really, really anonymous. So virtually anything you comment, like, we can, it's really easy not to trace back to you at all. So that just gives people a lot of confidence to be assholes. But, like, I truly don't care about it. I'm just talking about it because I saw it in her video and it, like, sparked this conversation in me. And also another thing I have to say about that is whenever I read a rude comment, it says more about that person commenting than about me. 
because I'm like, bro, I feel bad that you feel the need to, you know, write such nasty things under people's videos because I'm content with my life. So obviously there's something going on behind closed doors where you feel the need to lash out to people who don't even know who you are. That's, that comes with the territory again. But just, if you guys live with that rule of thumb, if you want to feel comfortable enough to just ask a random person that question or say that statement um, to someone you just meet out on the street, then you shouldn't feel comfortable enough to say that online. Because that's what's hard about vlogging. Vlogging is great. I love vlogging. It takes a lot less, I don't want to say less effort because I still like to put a lot of effort in my vlogs. But it definitely does take a lot less editing, a lot less time setting up. A lot less time overall to make a vlog versus a makeup tutorial or a fashion lookbook. I personally, I'm getting a phone call. Aw, look at Mel's baby picture. I changed it. I just lost my train of thought with that phone call. But you guys get what I'm saying. Oh, I got a few comments on my last video like, why'd you cut your hair if you want to wear extensions? I'm like, I feel like I made it pretty clear in, that, in the video. Um, I just wanted to have extensions just for the days where I do want long hair. I'm probably, I'm definitely like on a regular day, I'm just gonna wear my hair regular and like shorter. I just got the extensions for like a special occasion or the days where I wanna have long hair. It's just nice to have them, you know? I just finished up my face makeup. I just have to add a highlight, but I like to do that last. So I'm gonna do my eyes really quick. I don't have a lot of time, but I got so many requests to do a tutorial on the eye makeup I had in my first Vlogmas, Vlogmas day one. And I was so shocked that everybody wanted a tutorial on it because I'm like, I did that makeup in five seconds. Like I barely packed any makeup when I went to Ohio because I'm like, I'm just hanging out with family. Like I don't need to be doing my makeup. But I was like, shit, I need to take an Instagram picture for Black Friday. So I just dug through Yasmin's makeup. This is the only eyeshadow palette she brought. It was her Huda Beauty palette. And I just created a random look. Was it this palette that she brought or did she bring her the nude palette? No, 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 she didn't bring the regular Huda Beauty palette. She brought the new one. Let me go grab it. Okay, I grabbed it. So this is the new Huda Beauty nude palette. Ugh, this is killing me because I didn't pay attention to the shadows I was using. Like I literally wasn't even trying to do a look. Like I was like, let me just put on some eyeshadow real quick. Ugh, I'm like thinking so hard. I'm like, think Nas, what did you use? These two shades for my crease. I only use three colors that I know of. So I'm gonna take Teddy. Just work that into my crease. They're trying to go to Juicy Crab. I ain't eating that. In Smyrna. In Smyrna! What time is it? It's like 3 o'clock now. So maybe like another 30 minutes. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna do these dishes for breakfast. Um, put these dishes. Uh, my nose is... So I remember I put a color in my crease and then I put one on my outer corner and then I used this shade on my lid, like a white shade. So I think I went in with raw this color so i just put this in my crease and i think i went in with this on my outer corner has this ever happened to you guys like you look at your old pictures or you watch like old videos of yourself and you're like how did i do that makeup i literally do that all the time i'm like what lashes was i using there so hopefully this looks similar i don't think i don't even have like the patience to do my makeup right now maybe i'll try again another day but yeah i'm just working this on my outer corner Babe, what were you saying? Mel's in here, by the way. Hold on. Say what's up, babe. What's good? He just got home from Ohio, so if you guys were wondering why he wasn't in any of my vlogs, he was, um, he oh, stayed too. after Thanksgiving. And now I can't put my thing back out. Was Yeah, he was visiting his family for Thanksgiving, and Cozy was with him, too, so that's why. Yeah. He was gone for a minute. What if you put, like, chili powder in there? This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Setting Spray, the bridal one. I just assume anything made for brides and weddings are like way better than regular sprays because it's like, you know, girl gotta be laid for her wedding day, so. I swear, I'd spray my face for an hour if I could. So that's it for the makeup. I think I recreated it pretty well. I think this is exactly what I did in that video. Um, so again, the nude, almost dropped it. The Huda Beauty Nude Palette. So and I didn't use this white shade. I was wrong. I didn't use this shade for my lid because I did that at first. And I'm like, that's way whiter than what I had in that video. I actually used this shade right here. Play. So this is going to go in your crease. This is going to go in your outer corner. This is going to go on your lid. And then the lashes I wore in that video were Lily Lashes in Monaco. I'm all out of those. So I'm wearing another one of my favorite lashes. These are the Luxie. Dropping everything. These are the Luxie Lash 
in homegirl so that's what i have on my face and then my lip combo that has to be another top comment so it's like do an eyeshadow look what lashes are you wearing and your lip combo so this is pretty much my go-to lip combo right now it's all drugstore pretty much so this is the nyx lip liner in in nude truffle whenever you guys want to ask what lip liner i have on this is the one so i always every nude lip color i wear this is my lip liner this is my lip color i've been wearing this is the maybelline um what are these called the superstay matte lipsticks the superstay matte inks in 55 driver and then my nude gloss it literally changes up every day i just grab whatever new gloss i see this one is the patrick star like from the summer collection in the shade cream pie i have a ton of nudes in here i like this one from dior sometimes i use the fenty beauty gloss bomb anything nude and glossy i'll just wear that oh by the way i always use a black liner my upper waterline It makes such a difference. I don't know if you guys can see a difference, but like in person, it makes a huge difference. Oh, and another thing I love about my makeup I've been doing recently, I've stopped putting like eyeshadow, mascara, anything on the lower portion of my eyes. And I think it makes me look a lot more awake. And you know, sometimes I don't really want mascara on my lower lash line. I think it looks really good, you know, just like this. And that's how I had it in the first vlog. So I'm gonna get dressed, brush my hair, cause it's looking crazy. And I'll probably next time I see you guys, I'll already be at the Maybelline event. So I will see you guys there. Obviously, like all of you here, I have many a sleepless night watching your tutorials, and it is just the realness that you serve every day. And I think that you are such a woman to watch. Your ability to empower women around you and your drive to be genuinely who you are is beautiful. And because of that tonight, we have an area in the back of the room where you all can give back to local women, which was Desi's one desire, and just to bring that to everybody. And I think that that was really special and awesome. So let's just bring her onto the stage. So please. benefit approached me I couldn't be happier because <laughs> brows were my biggest insecurity forever I was afraid to show myself without makeup on YouTube without my brows because I was like I can't one day I just decided you know what fuck it I'm gonna do it and I did and it just shows that you can really make your insecurity your superpower um, is a dream come true and I'm so happy to be here, especially with Benefit. They have been amazing to work with. I am introducing to y'all, he doesn't need an introduction, but Ja Rule! <laughs>
I look like a wax figure next to you because you're so natural and I'm so fake. And <laughs> this is the natural version of me. <laughs> yeah. Want to see me natural? Yeah, if y'all wondering what I would look like if I would have aged naturally, here you go. <laughs> Come here. We're saying bye to the vlog. The vlog. Baba already put on his jammies. Bye everyone. How'd you guys, how'd you like your first beauty event, Baba? Have a good time. How'd you like your first event? Was Beautiful. nice, was nice, was good, was nice, yeah. it's nice. Yeah, fun, yeah. Mom? Yeah, was fun, 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 a lot of fun. Of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mama has a Mom time. had a lot of shots too. No. <laughs> have a good time, have a good time, We are going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually going to go sleep over at Yasmin's because my, my battery just died, but luckily we have Yasmin's camera, so I just switched the batteries. But as I was saying, I'm actually about to go sleep over at Yasmin's house because I have a workout at 9 a.m. What? You can ball like that. Okay, my mom says she didn't like the angle. So, <laughs> I have a workout at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So, I'm just going to sleep over at Yasmin's house because I work out in the old apartment gym still. Mm -hmm. So, and also, it's because my mattress is coming in the mail tomorrow. They're going to have the bed and I'll mm -hmm. sleep in Yasmin's bed. Great. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Have a Bye. good time. Who, good night. Who is Bobo even looking at? Bobo, look at the camera. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Bye. Hey, bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>